In this module, I am going to talk about normal sleep and uh, consequences of sleep deprivation. As in, uh, in, this, in, my, in this talk, I will be talking about the definition, the normal architecture, how sleep is regulated uh, during the uh, normal sleep-wake cycle, neurobiology of sleep, what are the various physiological changes we see uh, uh, during sleep, why should we sleep, what are the functions of sleep, and finally some of the uh, ill effects of sleep deprivation. First we will talk about the definition. As you all know that we exist in different states, the most of the time, about two-thirds of our lifespan, we spend awake and this is a state of uh, readiness or alertness and ability to react consciously to various stimuli. On the, co on the contrary, sleep is a state of unconsciousness from which a subject can be aroused by appropriate sensory or other stimuli. Coma, as you see in patient uh, with pathological condition, is a state of unconsciousness from which a person cannot be aroused by any external stimuli. Sleep may also be defined as normal, periodic inhibition of reticular activating system. We have a behavioral aspect of sleep and then we have a electrophysiological aspect of sleep. So we can define sleep behaviorably as a reversible state of perceptual disengagement from an, un, an unresponsiveness to the environment. Sleep is a complex state in which there occurs changes in physiological and behavioral processes compared with wakefulness. So sleep is physiological, necessary, temporary, reversible and cyclic. If you look into the behavioral aspect of sleep, it is, it is, it is defined on individual's behavior and most of the time when a person is sleeping, which this behavior is characterized by a reclined position, closed eyes, decreased movement, decreased response to internal and external environment and reversibility. Although during sleep, uh, we, we are not fully conscious as we are in awake, but it is a state of altered consciousness in which many sensory information is continuously processed by the brain. Meaningful stimuli, if occurs, may arouse this patient.